all right what's going on everybody good to see you again um it's another pretty day on the farm it's <laughs> my truck says it's 80 degrees that is hard to believe i'm not sure it's quite that warm it's probably like i think it's 76 77 but man what a change from just three or four weeks ago when we had snow on the ground um the one bummer about that is my air conditioner's not working so sorry about the rolled down window but i'm uh suffering pretty good in here i got to get my air conditioner fixed but anyways we've got quite a few things going on on the farm right now um I showed you a little bit of that Papa was grading down that uh, gravel and I said something in the last video about he was gonna get some footage and he didn't do it for me so this time I made him take the camera and I'm pretty sure he's videoing right now so we should have some footage to show you he's gonna kind of explain the dirt pan how it works and what he's doing to the lot there and then uh, dad's been running drains with the mud master like he showed you in that video a couple weeks ago and uh, he got it stuck for the second time this week so uh, we're giving him some grief about that but I'm gonna head down there and grab a tractor and go pull him out that way he can keep on running drains he got it stuck yesterday and he just left it there because it was quitting time anyway so we're gonna run down there and help him get that unstuck and uh, there's Papa right there he's grading down the lot and uh, I'm getting a phone call so we'll catch up with you in just a second here we go Hop on our trusty cat tractor here. Starts right up. Just like that. Well, if y'all want to know something really sad, the air conditioner in this cat tractor that's older than I am is working better than my 2015 GMC truck, so that's a little bit depressing. We're gonna head down here, down the road quite a ways to one of the uh, farthest fields on the end of the farm um, on this side until you go over to Snake Island that we've shown you before. But um, we're gonna run down here in this tractor, got a chain, we're gonna pull that out and then we'll head back. So uh, hopefully, I don't think he's too stuck. He said he got one wheel off in the ditch a little bit trying to cut the drain into the ditch where the water would run. and. Uh, said that one wheel started to spin which is not normal for the mud master all the wheels should spin if it's going to get stuck so uh, that's something we probably need to check out make sure we don't have a weak hydraulic motor on one of the wheels or if it's low on high trend or something like that but uh, we'll check that and we'll ask him how he got stuck when we get down there and see if he has any better excuse uh, maybe it's actually the thing or maybe he just got stuck who knows here we go I thought you'd been abducted. I was. Abducted by a deer. Are we running right now? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to run over all your drains. Gotta just go straight. There's here. not any between here and there. I started start on the other end. I didn't want to ruin your whole progress. Nah, I don't think you will. I don't know that I was making any progress. Make some drains of my own. Oh. We were going to see when we got here if you had a better excuse for getting stuck than just getting stuck. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lost the contact. <laughs> the bifocals are not good. Good to see where I was going. Bifocals are not good for making drains. Right. Probably should check the hot train and all that. I think that may be part of the problem. It's been a while since you got stuck. It didn't want to spin all the wheels at one time. It just wanted it's to spin. Been, it's been a while since you got stuck with uh, with it two times in a week. Yeah. It may have something to do with the conditions. Yeah. It's a little bit sloppy. It's what it's made for. 
Oh, and you pulled into the ditch and not back into the ditch. Yeah, I do that all the time, though. Well, I, yeah, I know, but it's easier to get stuck that way. It looks worse than it really is. It will be hard to get out. It's hard to do something. Um, I was saying it's really sad that um, the air conditioner in this tractor works better than the one in my truck. Hmm. This one's how many years old? I think this tractor's a 97 model. Older than me. 96 or 97. Back up to the back of it there. Um, if you want to, you can pull up to it. We'll look it to the front weight rack. I just have to look from one side of that foam uh, mark tank. You're gonna look to the tank? No, I'm gonna look to the, the, the main it? frame. Oh, I'm so okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. The weight's sticking up. That's not bad just at a bad angle. Here we go. Yeah, I like those. Even though I have baby hands. He said my hands were baby hands. How rude. Alright. Here we go. He says he's ready. We ease that back. I can't see the chain, so I need to be careful. I can see it now up there. Just ease it back till it gets tight. Hooked up. There it goes, getting tight. Here we go. Easy peasy, piece of cake. No problem. It's that easy. Sometimes you just gotta have a little nudge, a little help. Have you checked your hot train? That's a place to start. I don't see it. It's a little muddy. It does look like it's below the window there. Yep. So that could be. That's a place. I was also really slicked over. Well, yeah, that's what you're up. having trouble with there. But usually it pulls out of stuff like that better than that. Um, it could be. It could be that, or we could have something wrong, a little wrong with one of the motors or something that's pulling around, getting it uneven. Well, I've noticed a little bit of a leak. Well, I yeah, you wonder can, if it's just starving. You can see all the leak going on here all the way back. I just wonder if, if it may be a little bit low. Because it's out of there, it's out, out of that, that window. Side glass. Well, this has a screen in there, so you can't really stick anything in it. We'll get a, we'll be able to we'll get a couple of jugs and bring them down here. It that might help. That field's not in great shape, anyways. It's pretty muddy. No matter what you're driving in it. Okay, I'm Chris, and uh, this is my very first video. Not my first rodeo, my first video. And Harrison has got me uh, taking pictures of a little project we have here to regravel our lot uh, through the years I'll show this to you through the years as we go around the fuel tanks drive the tractors around it becomes low around them we we'll get holes and mud holes and such as that and uh, so I've come in here earlier and I've cut this back with our scraper to a slope toward the field cut it down to allow some room for this gravel that we're putting on top so, um, what you see here is the kind of the beginning of that. I'm going to get on the scraper as soon as they get through giving it a blood transfusion. I blew a hose and we had to replace that and add some hydraulic oil. 
But the scraper is an old thing we've had for a long time, but it's been updated and hooked up for uh, GPS. I grew up on lasers. Even before that, we did everything with the tripod and the stake in the ground with the with paint on the stake showing how much needed to be cut here and how much needed to be filled there. But this scraper's we've had it a long time, but it's held up really well, kind of ugly. But it works good. And so I'm about to get back on it since they've got it fixed and see what we can do. Lost quite a bit of oil. I know. That's what happens <clears throat> when you hit an artery. Yeah, it was an artery too. It was a big one. That's what's so big because it's made to go to a second pan behind it. It's like a full supply hose. I think it's going to take another drug. Isn't it supposed to be between these two lines in this sight glass? Oh no! What do you do? <laughs> You've got a new baby. Sometimes they spit up. <laughs> Doesn't it go between those two lines up here? Let me see. Move your head. And... Yes. Yeah, so it's going to take at least deep a deep in there. Yeah. It is. Um, it was. Yeah. It was low. I'm going to change these hoses. I think I want this one down here and this one up here, and then maybe this one change around back. Say that again. This one up here? These yeah. two up Switch here? Switch those two, yeah. Okay. Those like that. You want these the same? Yeah. This move, way? Move those down. I think they're right. And then you want these switched? And those switched. You're going to need to be thinking about which way something's going to go. It needs to be intuitive. Well, when you push it down, you want it to go down, don't you? Well, kind of. You got to... When the blade's going back, you want to be able to uh, have your gate coming down. So, you kind of want those to be opposite where you can push on you one, pull on the other. Twist, kind of twist your fingers? Yeah. So, like you're closing the gate over the blade so that it's holding the gravel you're getting. I don't have a picture of what's going on. It goes off after a minute. Still it's still, as long as that light's blinking, it's recording. Okay. Anyway, this is the new, um, the GPS. Used to be a laser receiver up there. And I've run those for 25, 30 years. I switched over to this one and it's kind of a learning curve for me. To, um, I understand it, but uh, the computer stuff behind it kind of throws me a curve sometimes. I tried to explain in the video the other day that the GPS thing over there was doing something, but all I could come up with was it's doing something complicated that I didn't understand. <laughs> well, it, it super triangulates the, um, the, little, the little tower over there. How do I zoom here? You can't zoom. Can't zoom. It's a little, little tripod over there. Picking up 13 satellites. And between those 13 satellites, it's triangulating elevation. And From that? Because it's communicating with how high that one is? Yes. It yeah. knows, that one knows how high that one is. Right. Those two are communicating, probably right now. I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but probably right now they're communicating. And uh, they know which, where the other one is and at what elevation. So they're triangulating off those satellites and and checking the elevation. This thing's going to be. Okay, I'll try to explain this as well as I understand it, which is not great. I'm going to switch this over to there. I'm on the program that I want. 
So I hit OK. This is my elevation. It shows that I'm high. As far as I had to hit automatic. Now the thing should be working. Raise up my scraper. Here's what I'm doing. I'm on the concrete. I'm trying to get the elevation of the concrete so that I'll know that the lot the gravel is lower than the concrete because we want the concrete to drain that way. So I'm going to get the elevation right here of the concrete and then I'll go to work. So I go to my scraper menu and I hit design. I've already got my benchmark set. Go to design. I'm trying to slope this to the north two tenths per hundred feet. So I've got my two tenths marked in. I hit OK. It confirms. So I should be there. I'm working off of this number right here 3.93. I can lower that to 3.9 is where I started yesterday. I rose, raised it up just a little bit. But right now I'm going to search out my um, elevation of the concrete. One thing I don't like about this is the tractor has to be moving before you can put it into automatic. I don't know what that's for, but I just put it into automatic. Now, the scraper is on the ground. So, I want to move my height up. Oh, see the red light flashing there? Getting close. When it turns green, I'll be on grade. There we go. Now that is 4.07. This is my concrete. I'll come up a little bit more. Yeah, 4.1. Still tight back there on the scraper, so. Okay, again, I have to move the tractor to get it to actuate. Come up some more. Come up some more. There we go, the scraper's coming off the ground. Okay, that is a bump in the concrete. Okay, pull up a little bit. Alright, I'm at 4.2, you try 4.1. Looks okay. So I'm going to use 4.1 as my concrete. I'm going to go to 4. And drag it down to 4. See what it looks like. So here we go. Okay, I'll give you a quick little update shot here. I'm trying to grade it down to four tenths. That's my elevation. That's not my slope. That's just the elevation. The slope's already dialed in. So I'm coming around. I'm going to grade this out to four on this pass. It's pretty good.
Okay. So we're gonna need some more gravel. Let's clear this up. I may drop down just a little bit and uh, try to cover everything. Cover rain coming. So there we go. I ended up grading it down to 3.95, which is uh, half a tenth below the concrete, which will let it drain. Anything below four is going to be fine to drain the concrete in the shop. But I still got this hole in the middle. I got a feeling I got two more truckloads of gravel coming. So maybe that'll do it. We will see. I'll explain to you a little more in a minute. Hey, from the ground level, maybe you can see a little bit more what we're doing here. We've got about three inches of gravel on top of this block that I've already graded out on the slope. Got a little high spot here in the middle. Here comes sugar. Hello, sugar. What you need? Where you going? Where you going? Need something? Let's go to the shop. Okay. Uh, give it a little overview. Uh, I'm Chris. I'm the, since my dad died, I'm the one who's been here the longest now. I'm the patriarch, I suppose. Um, most of my life I've moved dirt. We leveled a whole farm ourselves. And uh, so I've been moving dirt pretty much all my life. And um, we zero graded or leveled flat the whole farm inside the big levees. It's completely flat like a tabletop. That was my dad's idea way back in the 70s. And we got our first laser operated equipment. Uh, that was just possible to do everything near perfect. Excuse me. Um, so we got two elevating scrapers like you see on the, where they're building roads. They call them ukes or they call them elevating scrapers. And um, I spent hours upon hours and thousands of hours of hours on those with the uh, other guys and uh, leveled the whole farm and recently 20 years ago 15 years ago we um, got the uh, pull behind scraper on for the tractor and that was more for just dressing up since the farm is leveled and the elevations finished we can go back in and touch it up and make it real pretty with that old scraper uh, when you talk about a tenth lowering the elevation a tenth a tenth is a tenth of a foot and so it's kind of an odd um, number but when you say you're lowering it a tenth you're actually lowering it about a, an inch and five eighths so this when i shot the level of the concrete then i dropped the level to a tenth below the concrete and so the, the lot is going to be about a inch and five eighths below the concrete and uh, see what else I want to tell you I'm kind of boring we'll let that be it if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment we really appreciate it it helps us out helps us keep going so if you haven't the button's like right there it's super easy please do it please do it please do it thank you peace